Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you again. So, como siempre, vamos a iniciar chequeando la plataforma. Entonces, esta es la clase de esta noche, how to use adverbs of frequency. And here are, here is the question that you can participate with. Also, please remember to do the uh, homework number seven, okay? So it's just for you to click what is the best option. Y luego le damos submit, and that's it. Good. Vamos a chequear ahora la asistencia. Let's see how it goes. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villatoro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. I'm here, teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo. Ah, okay. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Presente. Good. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Okay, very good. So we are going to start with the class. Vamos a iniciar entonces. Y eh, bueno, vamos a iniciar con un par de videos. Dos videitos rapiditos los vamos a, a comparar. Y vamos a, bueno, a ver qué entendemos, ¿verdad? Y, uh, bueno, comentar lo que se vea en el video. So we are going to check that right now. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Olga Lucia Villamil. I am an occupational therapist. This is my son. I live with my son in Bogota. I put on my dress at 5 a.m. At 5.40 a.m. I wait the school bus with my son. I work at the Manuela Beltran University. I start my work day at a.m. I am the program Teacher, I can listen the video. Eh, sí, eso estaba viendo de que no. Creo que el video está incompleto. So it's not good. 
So, we're gonna watch the other one. Sorry about that one. Vamos a ver el siguiente mejor, entonces. Creo que tiene error el video. Vamos a ver este. So, let's see how it goes. Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and I'm always being asked, what are the habits of successful people? What is it that successful people do habitually every single day that leads to them being in the top 20% of money earners in our society? Well, Aristotle said that 95% of everything you do is the result of habit. So the rule is form good habits and make them your masters rather than allowing bad habits to form. In fact, the other rule says this is that good habits are hard to form but easy to live with. Bad habits are easy to form but hard to live with. Now one of the turning points in my life and my studies of psychology was the discovery that all habits are learned and can be unlearned. Actually, you don't actually unlearn a habit. You simply replace a bad habit with a good habit that has more powerful power and impact. And how do you develop a good habit? You develop a habit by repetition. Almost everything you do from the time you get up in the morning is habit. So start to think about yourself. So what would be the best habits to have? Now, I have written a book called Million Dollar Habits. It has 12 chapters, 12 critical areas of life, and in each chapter there's 20 or 30 habits. So let me give you some of the best. Number one, develop the habit of daily goal setting and goal orientation. What does this mean? It means when you go to sleep at night, think about your goals for the coming day. Make a list for each day of all the goals, the little goals you're going to accomplish that day. Keep a journal and write down your goals on a regular basis. When you're driving through the day, think about your goals. When you're talking to other people, think about your goals. You see, you do become what you think about most of the time. You do achieve what you think about most of the time. So all successful people and all wealthy people think about their goals most of the time. Second of all, be results oriented. Now results oriented people are always thinking of the most important things that they can do right now to achieve their most important results. Successful people make a list of everything they have to do and before they start working, they set priorities on the list. Here's a great way to become result oriented. Actually, it's life changing. Ask yourself, once you have your list for the day, if I could only do one thing on this list before I was called out of town for a month, what one activity would I want to be sure to get completed? And put a circle around that and start on that activity immediately first thing and then discipline yourself to work nonstop until you complete that one activity. This simple technique has taken people from rags to riches all over the world for at least a hundred years. Pick your most important task and start on it immediately and then discipline yourself to stay with it until it's complete. Another habit that you can establish is to become people oriented. Recognize that everything that you achieve in life is going to be with the help or support or cooperation of other people. So always think, what is it that other people want and need from me? How can I help other people so they'll want to help me back? If you're in sales, top sales people think about their customers all the time. They think about who their customers are and what their customers want and how they can help them the most and how they can help them even more today. In their relationships, successful people are very focused on the most important people in their worlds, both personal and in business. Another habit you can have is to stay health-oriented. Think about your health most of the time. Think about eating less food and better food. Think about daily exercise. Think about getting lots of rest. Remember, to be successful in our competitive world, you need a lot of energy. To have a lot of energy, you've got to eat good foods, get lots of rest, and exercise all the time. One of the most important habits is that of character and honesty, is always tell the truth no matter what the price. And the final characteristic, the final habit, is that of self-discipline. And I have written and spoken upon this for years and years and years, but self-discipline seems to be the foundation habit that makes everything else possible. And the best definition of self-discipline is that self-discipline is the ability to make yourself do what you should do, when you should do it, whether you feel like it or not. You see, anybody can do it if they feel like it. It's when you don't feel like it and you do it anyway that you eventually develop the self-discipline that makes everything else possible. 
Thank you for watching. What is the one habit that you should start to develop right now that will help you more than any other habit to achieve your most important goals? Whatever it is, start practicing this habit every day until it becomes automatic and easy. Perfecto, ahí está claro todo lo que dijo. ¿Qué fue lo que dijo? A ver, ¿qué entendimos? What did you understand on the video? Practice, practice every day. Very good, you need to practice habits every day. Nice. Es todo lo que pude entender. Okay, but that is very important. Very good. Eh, de los hábitos diarios de, de las personas, teacher. Perfecto. Eh, eh, uh -huh. Go ahead. Acerca de, acerca de, de la disciplina, ¿verdad? Que, eh, que eh, cada persona tiene que tener. Very good. Self-discipline. That is very important. Me gustó esa última parte donde dice self-discipline. What is that? Is when you make yourself do something even when you don't feel like it. So, la autodisciplina es cuando nos hacemos hacer las cosas nosotros mismos, aun cuando no tenemos ganas. Porque cuando tenemos ganas es fácil. Pero cuando no tenemos ganas, decimos, bueno, lo voy a hacer porque tengo que hacerlo. So that is self-discipline. Very good. Uh, Catherine, we were going to say something. Yes, uh, she gave uh, six habits of successful people. Uh, the legal setting, be results-oriented, be people-oriented, stay health-oriented, stay honest, is self-discipline. Very good. That is actually the core. Eso fue lo más importante de todo el video. The, uh, the tips that you can do yourself. Y esto lo podemos adaptar a cualquier cosa. Aprender inglés también. And, uh, for example, the first one is like set a goal, right? What do you want to do? And work every day for that goal. So that is important. Perfect. Any other thing? Alguna otra cosa? Teacher, yo entendí como que hablaba también de honestidad, pero no sé cómo expresarlo. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah, to be honest with you and with other people, right? So, on okay. what you want to do, what you can do, and things like that. Very good. Good. Uh, any other? No more. Este no sé por qué no sabía. Bueno, anyways. Okay, so we are going to continue with the class. Today is class number seven, and we have this topic that I know that you know. How to use adverbs of frequency, okay? So adverbs of frequency um, are very, very common in English, okay? So we use the adverbs of frequency for routines habits things that you do in a repeatedly activity so activities that you do or never do or sometimes do things like that one entonces los adverbios de frecuencia para rutinas y hábitos cosas que rutinariamente hacemos o no hacemos and we have here the most common estos son los más comunes vamos a repetir everybody always always Always. 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 I always wake up at six o'clock. I always wake up at six o'clock. Usually. 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 I usually come home after work. I usually come home after work. Normally. 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 Generally. Generally. I normally swim after school. I normally, I normally swim after school. Often. 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 Frequently. 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 I often spend Christmas with friends. 
I have oh, friends. 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 Sometimes. Sometimes. I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. Occasionally. I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. Seldom. So, I seldom go to the library. I seldom go to the library. Rarely. I rarely listen to the radio. I rarely listen to the radio. Never. Never. I never listen to rock music. I never, I never, never listen to, to rock music. music. Okay, very good. So, uh, as you can see there in the chart, uh, that is the frequency. Ahí se puede ver bien la frecuencia. Always, siempre. <coughs> so, es a hundred percent. Siempre hago o siempre no hago algo. Uh, usually, ¿qué es usually? Usualmente. 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 Okay. Eso es como el 90% de las cosas. So, I usually come home after work. Usualmente, ¿verdad? vengo a casa después del trabajo. Eh, normally and generally es como parecido, ¿verdad? Alrededor del 80%. Eh, sería, eh, normally, ¿qué sería? Normalmente. Normalmente. And generally. Generalmente. 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 Very good. I normally swim after school. So that is a very good example. The other is 70%, often and frequently. What is often? A menudo. A menudo. A menudo. Very good. And frequently? Frequente. Frequentemente. Very good. So I often spend Christmas with friends. De hecho, esto es bien, bien común, bien popular usar often. But that's often. It's very popular. Okay. Uh, then, then the other one is sometimes, 50%. What is sometimes? Algunas veces. Algunas ah, veces. A veces. A veces. O sea, ahí por eso está en el 50, a veces. So that would be good. I sometimes play tennis uh, on the weekend. And 30% it says occasionally. What is occasionally? Occasionally. Occasionalmente, very good. I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. Nice. Uh, have you ever eaten Vietnamese food? ¿Alguna vez han probado la comida vietnamese? I never tried that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of interesting. Right? Okay. The other one is seldom. Uh, a ver, ¿qué significa seldom? Rara vez. Rara, rara vez. vez. Perfecto. Ahora, fíjense que abajo dice rarely y ese es rara vez. Entonces, seldom, el problema con seldom es que es una palabra que no existe en español, pero sí lo podemos traducir como rara veces, porque por el porcentaje, ¿verdad? 10%, 10 es muy poco, rara vez. ¿verdad? Se parece a otro que se llama hardly ever. Hardly ever es difícilmente, ¿verdad? o sea, no. No es muy, muy común. Difícilmente. Hardly ever. Que es otro adverb of frequency. Entonces, seldom y rarely. Muy parecidos. Y los dos se podrían traducir como rara vez. I seldom go to the library. I rarely listen to the radio. So, muy similares. Never. What is never? Nunca. Nunca. El opuesto total de always. ¿verdad? I never listen to rock music. Entonces, con esta, vaya, la oración es afirmativa, pero el sentido de la oración es negativa, ¿verdad? I never listen to rock music. No le tengo que poner I don't. Ya con el never se me hace negativo, ¿verdad? I never y cualquier otra cosa, entonces esa es una oración negativa, pero sin llevar el don't o nada por el estilo. Do you have any questions? No. 
No questions. Ok, very good. Si no hay preguntas, vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad. Nice. Uh, ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Uh, bueno, primero quizás les voy a mostrar la pregunta. Vamos a hacernos preguntas. Uh, let me just move this. Here's it. So, one of the most common questions in English is how often? How often do you eat pupusas, for example? How often do you eat pupusas? Entonces, con often es muy popular preguntar. How often? Whatever, right? How often do you eat pupusas? And the answer can be whatever. También la respuesta puede ser de muchas maneras. I always eat pupusas on the weekend. For example. Okay. Another question that is very popular is do you always do you always uh, drive to work, for example. Do you always drive to work? Esta es una yes, no question. Entonces, tendríamos que decir, yes, I almost always drive to work. Yes, almost always. Casi siempre. Casi siempre. Very good. Yeah, I almost always drive to work. Or, oh, no. I seldom. Oh, pongamos el que no estaba ya. I hardly ever drive to work. Okay. ¿Qué era? Dijimos hard, hardly ever. Casi nunca. Difícilmente. Difícilmente. Very good. Ok. Um, I believe these are the most common questions. Creería yo que son las preguntas más comunes. Do you, how often, or do you always do this? Do you sometimes do this? Do you never do this? Something like that. One, ok. ¿Tienen preguntas con las preguntas? No questions. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do a little activity. Vamos a escribir cinco preguntas, solamente las preguntas. Pueden ser cinco, pueden ser dos o tres de how often do you y cualquier otra cosa que quieran preguntar. Uh, o dos o tres de do you always or do you sometimes, whatever you want to know. Okay, five questions. Eh, les voy a explicar la actividad. Las preguntas se las vamos a hacer a un compañero o compañera, ¿verdad? O sea, que vamos a hacer una práctica en parejas. Ahorita solo van a hacer las preguntas y ya en la conversación vamos a lanzar las preguntas y a ver qué nos contesta el compañero. ¿Preguntas con actividad? How many questions, teacher? Five. Five oh, questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other question with the activity? Ok, entonces les voy a dar unos minutitos, unos 5, 7 minutos para que escriban sus preguntas y las tenga lista y luego pues ya vamos a empezar a hacer las preguntas. ¿Cuántas preguntas, teacher? Five. Ok. Ok, I will give you a few minutes.
Teacher, only with how often y do you always? Eh, pueden ser de cualquier tipo, la verdad. O sea, lo que vamos a preguntar es frecuencia. ¿Qué tan frecuentemente usted hace una u otra cosa? Entonces, pueden ser con how often, how frequently, o puede ser do you always, do you sometimes. Lo que quieran preguntarle a los compañeros. Así sería el asunto. Ok. Good.
Okay, did you finish? Are you ready? O necesitan más tiempo? Is everybody ready? Ready. Okay, let's practice then. Uh, como les decía, va a ser fácil, ¿verdad? Una persona le pregunta a la otra y la otra le hace las preguntas de regreso. Um, y vamos a escuchar las respuestas. So, let's see. We are going to start with Edwin Antonio Quinteros and Salvador Bernal. Okay, teacher. Ahora, para iniciar, lo que vamos a hacer es como una conversación normal, ¿verdad? Es como que, hello, how are you? Ah, fine, and you, nice. Y de ahí le pregunta, no hay de un solo que la pregunta. So, primero es un saludo y cuando terminan de preguntarse es como, ok, goodbye, goodbye. ¿verdad? Así bien, bien nice. Vamos a escuchar. Okay. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Long time no see. Excuse me? Long time no see. I don't understand. Okay, long time no see es como que hace tanto que no veíamos, ¿verdad? Something like that. Ah, uh, nuevo para mí. Gracias. Yeah, okay, good. That's good. Okay, um, nice. How often do you work out? I work out es dejar de trabajar no, workout es hacer ejercicio I rarely uh, do exercise Good. ahí le sigue preguntando le hace sus cinco preguntas Edwin, y luego Salvador se las hace a usted de él Okay. Uh, yeah, right. But do you always get Christmas gift? I I always give gift in Christmas. All right. I need someone because I don't receive anyone. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Okay. Uh, how often do you eat pizza? I I sometimes eat pizza. Pizza. Okay. Um, when you go to the work, do you always go to office early? Repeat, please. Do you always go to the office early? Yes. I I go to the office early. I always go. Always. To... Ah, always. I always go to the office early. All right. Okay. When you have vacation. Um, when you have vacation, how often do you go to the beach? I I rarely rarely go to the beach. All right. Perfect. Now Salvador, you do the questions. How often take vacation with your family? How often do you take vacation with your family? Do you? Mm -hmm. So I always have vacation with my family three times a year. Nice. Do you generally do you generally play with your pet? Oh uh, sorry. I never play with my pet because I don't have anyone. 
How often do you learn new things? So I always, so I always uh, learn new things in my job, in my life. Okay. Uh, how often do you think in the future? So um, rarely I think in my future because I concentrate in my present. Do you always go to the shore? Sorry, can you repeat that, please? Do you always go to the shore, Iglesia? Ah, oh, right. And I always go to the shore on Sunday. Okay. Very well. Thank you. You too. Thank Goodbye. Thank you. Very good, very nice. Ya vieron que está bien fácil. ¿verdad? So now we're going to listen to uh, Blanca Ruth and Álvaro Ernesto. Okay. I, Yo todavía I'll... no te listo, teacher. Todavía no. Me todavía no. Ah, vaya. Sí, Vamos a esperar. Me falta, teacher. Thank you. Okay. okay. Entonces Blanca Ruth con Irving y Isaí. Hi, Irving. Hello, Blanca. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm great. Thank you. And what about you? Excellent. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, do you never to go to, to English class? Uh, I always go uh, to my English class. Online. Okay. How often do you watch TV? I always watch TV on my free days. Okay. Do you never get get enough sleep? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Do you never get get, get enough sleep? O sea, si you... le cuesta dormir, quiero decir. Uh, do you uh, ah, okay. get enough sleep? Ah, uh, get enough sleep. Uh, no, I think that I I can sleep very well. I don't have any problem. Good, good. Do you are always on time to work? Yeah, I always. Uh, I always stay on time on my work because, <laughs> because I have a problem if I oh, don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How often do you drive frequently? How often do you, what? Okay. Can you repeat the question? How often do you drive frequently? No sé si lo I never drive because I don't have a car. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Uh, hello, Miss Blanca. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Okay. Uh, tell me, Blanca, how often do you do exercise? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I, no exercise. No, no. Uh, uh, I uh, do not exercise. Okay. I never. I never do exercise. Ah, uh, I never. Okay. Uh, and tell me, how often go to the beach? How um, often do you go to the beach? Yes. How often do you go to the beach? Yes. Uh, I frequent, I uh, go frequently. Okay, and tell me what time 
do you usually get up in the time in the morning? Yes, yes. Uh, I, eh, oh, no sé cómo contestar ahí. The time. What time do you usually get up in the morning? Um, I, eh, I eh, get up usually at five five a.m. Cool. And what do you never do in the class? Mm, what? Repeat, please. Yes, no problem. What do you never, never do in the class? Uh, mm, I I uh, I always in the class. No sé si está bien la respuesta. Mm, lo que pasa es que le preguntó what do you never do in class? Entonces viene siendo como que es algo que usted nunca hace en clase. Ah, uh, I uh, I never speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And the last question: uh, What do you usually eat in the morning? Mm, repeat. Yeah. Please. What do you usually eat in the morning? Mm, um, I I. Uh, I always drive drive my my car. No, what uh, do you uh, usually eat in the morning? Ah, que como. I uh, eat. I usually eat uh, pupusas. Okay, cool. Thank you, Blanca. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Nice. Nice. Now we're going to listen to Eulice Torres and Karen Sanchez. Good evening, Eulice. Hi, good evening. How are you? Tell me. Uh, I don't know uh, the question because I have, I I still have a problem with my internet coach. Oh, I see. Sí, lo que estamos haciendo es hacer preguntas con adverse of frequency, así como que, uh, do you always have breakfast, breakfast in the morning, o algo por el estilo. No sé si las preparó o lo quiere hacer así, okay. o no va a participar usted, decía. Uh, no problem, I invent the question. Ok, so Karen and Eulice. Okay. okay. You first, Kai. Hi, hi, Alice. How often do you listen to the podcast? Podcast. Yes. How often do you listen? Mm, I. I rarely listen to podcasts. Okay. How often do you go to the beach? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I sometimes uh, go to the beach. Okay. Do you usually study English at night? Yes, I usually study at night. Okay. Do you always go to the movies on weekend? Mm -hmm. I seldom. Uh, watch the movie on the weekend. Okay. How often do you see your grandparents? Um, my parent, me, my grandfather, uh, passed away, but uh, sometimes I see my 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 grandmother. Okay. 
Oke, okay. thank you. Ahora le toca okay. a usted preguntarle. Son cinco preguntas, pero puede hacer menos si quiere, Ulisa. Ok. Um... How often do you read a book at night? At night, uh, hard ever, yeah. hardly ever read a book at night, usually in the morning. Hello, Elisa. Yes. Uh... Okay, me escuchan. Ah, ahorita sí. Yes. Hello. Hi, teacher. Continue. Okay. Uh, Karen. Yes. Hi. Hi. I listen. Okay. Um, how often do you? Uh, okay. How often do you read a book during the day? Repeat, please. How often do you read a book during the day? Um, usually I read a book in the morning. Okay. Okay. Um, how often do you eat a junk, a junk food? I sometimes eat. Hi. Say, la pregunta? Yeah, she says sometimes. Yeah. Hola. Sí, él le respondió. Escucha? Él le dijo sometimes. Eh, I sometimes okay. eat. Okay. Next question. Uh, what time do you um, do you wake up in the morning? I usually get up at Four o'clock a.m. Okay. How often do you visit your grandparents? Um, uh, usually, uh, visit, go to the visit uh, on weekends. On weekends. <clears throat> okay. Um. How often do you visit your friend? I hardly ever go to the visit my friend because I okay. And that's uh, it. Coach. On the weekend, on the weekend, uh, is my family, my husband and my Hola. And my baby. Okay, very good. Okay, yeah, there are some problems on the internet connection, but that is fine. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Karen and Ulisse. Good. So now we're going to listen to Álvaro Ernesto. Ahora sí, ¿verdad? Oh, todavía no, quizás no. Okay, so let's listen to uh, Josman Serrano. Hello, hello. Ah, okay, okay. So, Josman and Álvaro Ernesto. Okay. Hi, Álvaro. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? So good. Great in the day. Okay, okay. Álvaro. Very good. Good. Uh, how often do you eat pizza? I always uh, I always eat pizza uh, at 
weekend. Weekend. Great. Only weekend. Okay, great. Do you usually visit to the supermarket? Yes, I usually visit a uh, supermarket. Supermarket. Uh, supermarket. The Metro Cero Santa Ana. Good, so good. Or oh, 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 Real City también. Okay. How often do you practice a sport? I practice a sport. I always, I always practice a sport in the spring. Great. Uh, uh, weekends, only, only weekends. Great. Do you always watch TV? Uh, I always, I always watch TV. I don't watch TV as the, in the night, in the night, one moment, only one moment in the night. At night. Very good. At night, sorry. At night, At night. very good. Um, how often do you go to the beach? Always, always, uh, always, always visit the beach one, una vez al, una vez al año. <laughs> once a year. Once a year. Once a year, usually, usually, usually once a year. Excellent, so good. Thank you. Okay, now Alvaro do the question. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. How often do you go to the, how often do you go to the gym? Rarely visit the gym for women. Okay. How often do you, Cassie, how often do you watch movies? Ah, always. Always in week, uh, the, the quality that in the movie in my house, in the Netflix or HBO. Okay. How often do you date? Do you, how often do you date speaking English? Oh, always in the class, uh, every day, in the night. Okay. The next question. How often do you, how often do you travel to a uh, USA? Never, never travel to the USA. Uh, for women, visited the place for Mexico. <laughs> For women. Yeah. Okay, very good. Nice, nice Pantaluna. job. Ah, okay, <laughs> dele, dele. Okay, first, how often do you eat fish in the breakfast? Excuse me, repeat, please. How often, how often do you eat fish? In the breakfast, breakfast. I'm um, rarely, rarely eat fish in the restaurant because prefer to uh, visit the beach. Uh, it's much relaxing. <laughs> yes, I eat, eat fish in the, in the beach. Exactly. It, it's the best, it's the best. <laughs> okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. Very nice, very good job. Nice. So now we're going to listen to Karen Jamilet and Jennifer Torres. Hi, Karen. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? Um, 
tell me. <laughs> you start. How often do you see your best friend? Sorry? How often do you see your best friend? How often do you? See your best friend. See? Ah, see. I, I usually see her um, three times of the month. <laughs> Okay. Do you ever go to the shopping? I'm sorry, I can't hear you very well. Do you ever go to the shopping? I go, I usually go to the shopping. Okay. How often do you play football? Sorry? Uh, how, uh, how often do you play football? How often do you play football? Oh, I never play football. I miss it, but I never play it. Mm -hmm. okay. How often do you eat tomatoes? Oh, I eat tomatoes every day. Okay. Do you always work very late? No, I can't. I am always be early to my work. Okay, tell me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excellent. How often do you go to the gym? I sometimes go to the gym. Here's something. Oh, how often do you go to the supermarket? Hi. Hello, Jennifer. No, let's go someone nice, Jennifer. Okay. Ah, okay. I go to I go to the supermarket twice a week. Twice a week. Very good. Uh, let me think. Do you always take a breakfast? I sometimes take a break in the morning. Okay. Do you always visit your grandparents? No, I don't visit my parents. Okay. Creo que ya están las cinco, teacher. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now we're going to listen to, let's see. Marlon and Catherine Indira. Okay. Uh, hello, Catherine. How are you? Hello. I'm good. And you? I'm fine. How was your day? It was great. Sorry? It was great. Okay. Tell me, uh, how often do you play soccer? Mm, I hardly ever play soccer because really? I don't like it. Oh, uh, um, okay. How do you usually do before going to sleep? Sorry? How do you usually do going uh, do before going to sleep? Uh, Seria, what do you usually do before go to bed? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do okay. you do? Huh? I always brush my feet. Okay. And also, I always I do my skincare. And I, I, I think uh, only that. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, how often do you go to the park? Do A you bar. go to the Yeah. Mm, I rarely uh, I go to the bar. Mm. In the morning or at night? No, bar. Do you say bar? No, it is park. 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 Ah, okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. Hoy escuché bar. No. Okay. Okay. Um, no, I I rarely go to the park. I I hardly never go to the park. Mm, okay. Uh, do you always study English at night? Yes, I always study English at night. Really? In the the weekend too? No. On oh, weekends, no. Okay. Only right. the don't, Monday to Friday. Oh. Um, how was your... Oh, do you always eat the dinner late? Mm, I normally take my dinner at 6 p.m. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, that's finished. Okay, now okay. Catherine. It's my turn. Mm, yeah. How else? How often do you do exercise? Exercise, I I don't exercise. Never. Right? Never. No, never. I don't, don't have have time for for the exercise. I this work is okay. Is, okay, yeah. Okay. And how often do you eat fast food? Um, I I sure don't eat fast food. I don't like. Okay. Um. Do you always sleep eight hours? No. Or do you always sleep more? Um, More than no. eight. I sleep uh, five or or six hours because the work is more is terrible and I I go to to bed late. And on weekends too. Mm -hmm. And weekends I watch the movie. Uh, no, no go to, to sleep. Okay. What do you what do you usually do on Saturday's night? On Saturday's night I watch the movie with my family. Okay. Only that. Very good. Okay, thanks. Perfect, nice. Now we're going to listen to Rosa del Carmen and uh, Rolando Cáceres. Okay. okay. Hello, Rosa, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, you? I'm fine, thank you. And Rosa, how often do you, do you watch TV series? I rarely watch series. Okay. And how often how often do you go to do you go out on weekends? I sometimes okay. Go. And do you always drink coffee in the morning? I always drink coffee in the morning. And do you always go to the gym on Fridays? 
I never go to the gym. Okay. And, and how often how often do you take vacation? I sorry, I repeat question, please. How often do you take vacations? I the next year no in my, my my vacation because I, how do you say, acabo de comenzar. Okay, I just start my job. I start my job. Okay, <clears throat> that's it. Okay, Rose. And, okay. And how often do you cook the dinner? Um, I usually, I usually, cook my dinner uh, three times a week. How often do you live with your friends? Sorry, repeat the question, please. How often live with your friends? Um, I always once a week. Do you generally take the bus in the morning? No, I not. I never because I have a car and I drive to my work. Do you frequently read the newspaper in the morning? No, I never. I don't like to read the newspaper. Do you do you visit? How often do you visit the parent? Um, I never because I live with my parents. Okay. And that. Okay. Very good, perfect. Uh, nice question. So that is interesting. So now we're going to listen to Carlos Dominguez and Brenda de Villatoro. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. How are you? It's okay. And you? Uh, I am fine. Uh, I would like to ask you some question. Uh, number one. Who often Hello? do you? Who often do you? How often do you attend church? Is the real iglesia, verdad? Yes. Yes. I always on Sunday. In Mercury. Wednesday. Okay. How often do you visit your parents? Excuse me? Who often do you visit your parents? Si visito que lugar? Your parents. No sé qué sí. Parents, sus papás. Oh. <laughs> Vivo con él. En inglés, ¿cómo sería eso? Mm -hmm. I live. Ah, oh, no sé. I live, I live with my parents. With my parents. <laughs> ok. Mm -hmm. Who often do you travel on vacation? Yes. 
Repeat, please, Carlos. Okay, no problem. How often do you travel on vacation? How often do you travel on vacation? ¿Con qué frecuencia salgo de vacación? Mm, lo que yo le sugiero es que trate de no traducir. Las palabras claves ahí son travel. Travel on vacation. Ajá, pero es que para lograr contestar necesito saber qué estoy contestando. ¿Y qué significa travel? Ah, ok. Travel es viajar. Ah, ok. Um, I never. Never, ok. Ok. Who often, who often do you exercise at home? Um, seldom. I seldom. Ok. How often do you clean the garden? Clean and limpiar, ¿verdad? Yes, very good. ¿Y limpiar qué? Garden, the garden. ¿Y qué es garden? El jardín. Ah. Um, Some, I sound okay. Okay. Okay, ahora Bye. Brenda le pregunta. How often do you read the Bible? Please repeat. How often do you read the Bible? Read? Really? The Bible. No sé cómo se pronuncia Biblia. No, that is correct. Yeah, the Bible. How often do you read the Bible, Carlos? Oh. Uh, and sometimes, and sometimes I read the. And sometimes. Sometimes. Very good. Do you always read a Bible? Do you always ride a bike? Uh, I usually. I usually break up. Do you always walk in the park? Okay. Repeat for me. Do you always walk in the park? Uh, and, and sometimes at night in the park. How often do you sleep? Sleep? Yes. Uh, every day. <laughs> Okay. Aha, uh -huh, the next question. How often do you exercise? Okay. Uh, uh, I still don't exercise. Do you always go to your on Sunday? And I I usually okay. 
Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much, Carlos Dominguez and Brenda. Nice. Now we're going to listen to, and this is the last one, Jocelyn Vasquez and Fatima Noemi. Hi, Fatima. Hi, Jocelyn. Hola. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm tired. Uh, go, how often do you go to the cinema? I never go to the cinema. Okay. How do you often eat seafood? Um, I sometimes go to the the the, the food. Okay. Seafood. Seafood. Uh -huh. Okay. How? How often do you go to the beach? I I usually go to the beach. Do you always study English? Repeat. Do you always study English? I usually. <laughs> Studies English. Okay. Um. Do you always eat breakfast? Mm. Yes, I always the breakfast. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now Fatima. Um. Do you dance every day? Uh, I never dance. Um, how often do you practice English? I sometimes practice English. Um, how often? Um, do you use do you use the computer? I always um I always use the computer in my work. Mm -hmm. uh, do you sing in the shower? Repeat please. Do you sing in the shower? Eh, sí. que se me pienso bañar. <laughs> <laughs> no, que se canta cuando se baña. Ah, <laughs> I never think in the shower. Um, how often do you play football? I never play football. Thank you. Okay, very Thank good. You. Perfect. It was a very good practice. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. Before we continue, we're going to check the attendance. So let me just go there. Okay. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Present, teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. 
Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present teacher. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Present. Good. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Very good. Very nice. So now we're going to continue with the class. And this is a little reading that we're going to make. Una pequeña lectura la que vamos a hacer de las rutinas. So everybody please repeat. Recordemos que repetimos, luego vemos pronunciación y luego leemos. Vamos a ver si nos alcanza el tiempo. Uh, Alex is an American boy. Alex is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles. He lives in Los, he Angeles. Lives in Los Angeles. California. 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 He lives with his family. He lives, he lives with his family. family. In a modern house. In, in a, a modern, modern house. Modern, modern house. He is 11 years old. He is 11, he is 11 years, years old. old. And he has got an older brother. And he has got an older brother. Older brother. Older brother. David and a younger sister, Emma. David and a younger sister, Emma. Emma. He starts his day. He starts his day. At about half past seven. At about half past seven. He gets up. He gets up, up, get up. Goes to the bathroom. Goes to the bathroom. Takes a shower. Takes a shower. shower brushes his teeth. Brushes brush his teeth. And gets dressed. And gets dressed. dressed. Then he has breakfast. Then he has breakfast. breakfast. And at a quarter to eight. In yeah. a word, great. He leaves home. He, he leaves, he leaves home. home and catches the bus to go to school. And catches, and catches the, the bus, bus to go to school. school. Classes begin at half past eight. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen. He usually has lunch at a half past twelve. After school, after school, at quarter past five, he goes home. He goes he home. home. There he does his homework. There, there he, does, there his he does his homework. And when he finishes it, and when he finishes, when it, he finishes it, he helps his mom. He helps, he helps his, his mom. mom setting the table. Setting the table. At half past seven. 
The family has dinner all together. The family has dinner all together. Alex is a very helpful boy. Alex, Alex is a very helpful, very helpful boy. So he helps his mother. So he helps his mother. Cleaning up everything after dinner. Cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV. He usually, he usually watches TV. A while after dinner. A while after dinner. And at about 10 o'clock. At about 10 o'clock. The moth he brushes his teeth again. The moth he brushes his teeth again. Puts on his pajamas. Puts on his pajamas. His pajamas. And goes to bed. And goes to bed. His parents always kiss him good night. His parents always kiss him good night. Good night. Before he gets asleep. Alex is a very happy boy. Alex is a very happy boy. Okay, do you have questions on pronunciation? Pronunciation. Teacher question. Uh -huh. Repeat pronunciation. Uh, Alex is a very helpful. 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 Thank you. Okay. Oh, Any other question? Take a shower and brush. Brush or oh, brush or oh, brush. Um, take a shower. Eso está al principio, ¿verdad? He gets some mm. brushes. 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 Brushes his teeth. Brushes. Any other question? Brushes tipo cepillo, ¿verdad? Cepillarse. Mm -hmm. Cepillarse. At half, teacher? At half, yeah. Half. Oh. Es mitad, medio. Después vamos a ver vocabulario, pero okay, sí, okay, okay, es, okay. es medio. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Any other pronunciation question? Why okay. will it be will will it? while 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 okay so now we are going to read vamos a leer ahora la primera persona lee el primer párrafo y la segunda lee el segundo iniciamos con Álvaro Alexis okay Alexis is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in the mother, in the mother house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He started his day at about half past Stephen. He get he get up, he gets up, he gets up, goes to the, the bathroom, the bathroom, take a shower, brushes his teeth, and gets dressed. Get dressed. Then he then he has breakfast and and at uh, quarter to eight, he, he leaves home and catches to bus to go to school. Very good, perfect, nice. 
Now, just man, Serrano, the next one. Class begin and half pace A. He usually has lunch at the school canteen and half, and half past 12. After school and quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his homework. And when he finish, finishes, he, he helps his mom setting the table. At half past seven, seven the family has dinner all together. Dinner. Dinner. Dinner all together. Alex is a very helpful boy. So helpful, his mother cleaning out everything after diner. Dinner. Dinner. He usually watch TV and while after diner and had about 10 o'clock, the most he brights his thing again. Brushes. Brushes. Brushes his thing again. Pats on his pajamas and goes to bed. His parent always kiss him good night before he, he gets asleep. Alex is a very happy boy. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, the next one is for Rosa del Camino. Alec is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at, a, at about half past seven. He gets out, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brush his teeth, and gets dressed. Then he has breakfast, and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catch the bus to go to the school. Very good, perfect. Now the next one is Irving Isai. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past 12. After school, a quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his homework and when he finish, he helps his mom setting the table at half past seven, the family has dinner all together. Alex is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock, the most his brushes his teeth again, puts on his pajamas and goes to, the be and goes to bed. His parents always kiss him Good night before he gets asleep. Alex is a very happy boy. Very good, nice. Now, the first one is for Eulise Torres. Okay. Alex is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. He is 11 years old. And he has got an uh, older brother, David, and a younger, a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day about half past seven. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brush his teeth, and gets dressed. Then he has breakfast and at a quarter to eight, he leaps home and catches the bus to go to the school. Very good, nice. Now the next one is for Salvador Bernal. Classes, classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past 12. After school at quarter past five, 
he goes home. There he does his homework and when he finished, finished he helps his mom sitting the table. At half past seven, the family has dinner all together. Alex is a very helpful boy, so he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV a while after dinner, and at about 10 o'clock, the most he brushes his teeth again, put on his pajamas, and goes to, the, to bed. His parents always kiss him goodnight before he gets us asleep. Alex is a very happy boy. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Karen Rivas. The first one. Yes, please. Alex is American. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. He is 11 years old and has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at about half past him. He grabs, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth, and gets dressed. No then he has breakfast, and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches yes. the bus to go to school. Hmm? Very good, perfect. Now, Rolando. Alguien tiene abierto su micrófono, no se escucha. Ya lo cerramos. Gracias. Okay. The second part. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has a lunch at the school, at the school garden. Car car Canteen. Half past Sorry? Canteen. Canteen. At half past 12, after school, at quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his homework, and when he finishes, it helps his mom setting a table. At half past seven, the family has a dinner to all together. Alex is a very healthy boy helpful boy so he helps his mother cleaning cleaning up very everything after dinner he usually watch watches tv a while after dinner and about 10 o'clock the most the brush 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 his teeth again put on his pajamas and goes to the bed his parents always kiss him good his parents always kiss him good night before they get asleep. Alec is a very happy boy. Very good, perfect, nice. Now the next one is going to be uh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Alexis is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He lives, uh, he is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at about half past seven. He gets up, goes to the bedroom, take a shower, brush his teeth, and get dressed. Then he has breakfast at a quarter to eight. He leaves home and catches the bus to go to a school. Very good, nice. Next one is Karen Sanchez. Alex is he usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past 12. After school at quarter past 
by. He goes home. There he does his homework and when he finishes it, he helps his mom sitting the table. At half past seven, the family has dinner all together. Alex is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother cleaning up everything after the dinner. He usually watches TV a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock, the most he brushes his teeth again, but on his pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alex is a very happy boy. Very good, perfect, nice. And now it's going to be, let's see. Eh, Josman, creo que no ha pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 ya. Ah, ok, perfecto. Blanca Ruth, then. Alex is an American boy. He li lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He is 11 years old and, and he has got an older brother, Davy, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at about half past seven. seven. He grabs, goes to, to the bathroom takes a shower, Bruce bruises his tilt and gets dressed. Then he has breakfast and at a quarter to eight he leaves home and catch, catches the bus to go to school. Very good, nice. The next one is going to be, uh, let's see, Indira. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at quarter past five. He goes home. There he does his homework and when he finish, finish it, He helps his mom setting the table. At, fa at half past seven, the family has dinner all together. Alex is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV and while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock the most He brushes his teeth again, puts on his pajamas, and goes, goes to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alex is a very happy boy. Very good. Now, Rosa El Carmen. Teacher, ya. ya ah, okay. Perfecto, thank you. Carlos Domínguez, then. The second teacher. The first one, please. Okay. Classes begin at alpha A. Uh, sería arriba. Alex is an American boy. Okay, human teacher. Alex is an American boy. He, li he lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, Davey, and younger sister, Emma. He started his day at about half past seven. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth, and get 
dressed. The, the he has breakfast and a water of a. He leaves home and catches the bus to go to school. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, the next one is going to be for Brenda de Villatoro. Gracias, Brian. At half past eight, he usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past twelve. After school, at quarter past five, he goes home. There, he does his homework, and when he Finish, finish, um, finishes, finishes in he help his mom uh, setting the home, setting, setting the table at half past seven. The family has dinner at Together. Together. Alec, together. Together. Okay. Alec is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV uh, while after wire. After dinner and at about the o'clock, the most he brushes his thing again, puts on his pyjamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alec is a very happy boy. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, uh, Jocelyn. Okay. Alex is, Alex is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. house. He is 11 years old and he has got an um, older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He started his say at about half past seven. He get up, goes to the bathroom, take a shower, brush, brushes his teeth, and get dresses. Then he has breakfast in at a quarter to eight. He leave, he he leaves home and catches the the bus to go to school. Very good, nice. And the last one, Fatima. Mm -hmm. At all past eight, he usually has lunch at the school canteen at four past twelve. After school at one past five, he does home. Then he does his homework and then he finishes it. He tells his mom, telling the table, at all past seven, the family has dinner all together. Alex is a very helpful boy, so he helps his mother clean and everything after dinner. He usually wants to be in a room after dinner in the afternoon, the most 
Very good, perfect, thank you. Nice, nice job. Veamos un par de cosas de pronunciación. Uh, he lives, plural. Bueno, no es plural, sino que es con S al final, ¿verdad? Uh, let's see. Yo tengo una duda con dress, donde dice gets dressed o es get dressed. Sería gets dressed. Ok, thank you. Ok. Uh, let's see, goes, takes a shot. brushes. Con ese tipo de palabras, cuando lleva la E y la S, tenemos que decir brushes. Y okay? no solo brush, sino que brushes. Teeth. Esa es teeth, la siguiente. Luego veamos leaves. To eight, uh, he leaves home. He leaves. Catches. Esa es importante. También catches. Let's see. Canteen. Uh, let's see what else. Finishes. Finishes. Let's see. Uh, dinner. Diner es con una N y ya significa otra cosa. Entonces, este es dinner. Uh, let's see. Watches TV. A while. After dinner. And let's see. Mm, creería que esas. Veamos ahora vocabulario. Let's see. It says Alex is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He is. Aquí es importante recordar que nosotros en español decimos yo tengo y la edad, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés no se dice tener, sino que es con el verbo to be. I am, she is, y la edad. That is very important. Luego dice, he has got an older brother. Eso es inglés británico y por eso dice, he has got. Eh, pero es lo mismo que decir, he has. Él tiene un older brother. ¿Qué es older brother? Un hermano mayor. Un hermano mayor. Hermano mayor. Very good, un hermano mayor. Y luego dice a younger sister. ¿Qué es younger sister? Una hermana menor. Very good, una hermana menor. Enma, he starts his day at about half past seven. Starts, ¿qué era start? Iniciar. Iniciar, very good. Y luego dice he gets up. ¿Qué era gets up? Levantarse. 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 Que no, no es lo mismo que wake up, ¿verdad? Wake up es despertarse, pero usted se puede despertar, pero no se levanta en una hora. ¿verdad? So, it's, it's different. Uh, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth. Como dijimos antes, brush es cepillarse. ¿verdad? En este caso, sus dientes. Brushes porque es tercera persona. Uh, take a shower, brush his teeth, and get dressed. Get dressed. ¿Qué es get dressed? Vestirse. Vestirse. Very good. Then he has breakfast. ¿Qué era breakfast? Desayunar. Desayunar. Very good. And at a quarter to eight, he leaves. ¿Qué es leaves? Salir. Salir, dejar su casa. En catch is the bus. ¿Qué es catch? Eh, tomar el bus. Tomar, tomar. Tomar, atrapar es, pero aquí se ocupa como tomar el bus. ¿verdad? Take a bus puede ser también. Classes begin. ¿Qué era begin? Comenzar. Comenzar. Good. Comenzar. So classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen. Cantín también es inglés eh, británico y es la cafetería de la escuela, pero solo allá en, en Inglaterra. Aquí en Estados Unidos se dice cafetería. At half past twelve, after school, at, qua at a quarter past five, he goes home, then he does some work, and when he finishes, 
it he helps his mom setting the table okay setting the table se sienta en la mesa eso sería sitting setting es sería poner la mesa o sea, que le ayuda a poner los Porque platos también. a sacar el curtido para las pupusas la salsa que da la hambre so lo dice at half past seven the family has dinner all together dinner cena verdad si yo le quito una n ya se pronuncia diner y ya sería el lugar donde se va a comer Alex is a very helpful boy qué es helpful servicial servicial very good uh, let me just move here so he helps his mother cleaning up a cleaning up Clean up es como limpiar, solo como clean. ¿verdad? Everything, ¿qué es everything? Todo. Todo. After dinner, he usually watches TV a while. ¿Qué es a while? Un momento. Un momento, un rato. Very good. After dinner and at about 10 o'clock, the most, he brushes his teeth again, puts on his pijama. Put on, ¿qué es put on? Ponerse. Ponerse, very good, on his pajamas and goes to bed. His parents, ¿qué era parents? Padres. Very good. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alex is a very happy boy. Nice. Do you have any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No question. No question. Very good. Good practice today. Buena practice, practice hour. ¿Alguna pregunta antes de finalizar totalmente la clase? Ok, my friends. So we're going to uh, check the attendance. Vamos a ver la, la asistencia. So, Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Present your teacher. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdamez. Present teacher. Brenda Jamelet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Here, teacher. Good. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon. Present. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres aquí. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enrique Flores. Present. Good. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Very good. Perfect, my friends. It was a pleasure to be with you. Uh, see you tomorrow. Have a good night and dream in English. Good night. 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 Good night.